I cannot imagine a fish dinner without enough citrus, but this time I'm kicking things up a few notches with this citrus salmon using different oranges, lemon juice, and then some fresh herbs. You're gonna love it. I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com, your number one resource for Mediterranean cooking. If you're new here, subscribe and follow this channel for more delicious videos every single week. Okay, starting with a gorgeous piece of salmon filet right here, you guys, about a pound and a half is what you want. And I always love to ask for the center cut. That way everything cooks evenly. Also, you get a nice and meatier, more juicy fish. So that is what you need. We're gonna do a little bit of prep before we get to it. So we got a couple lemons. We're gonna slice one. This is one of those gorgeous looking meals that people think you spend so much time on, but I really didn't, but nobody knows, you know? Keep that to yourself. Okay, and I've got some oranges, you guys. You really need just one large orange, but if you wanna mix things up, I love Cara Cara and blood oranges here. Any oranges will do, but if you wanna give it like more color, then you can play things up, especially when citrus is in season. So we're gonna do a little bit of blood oranges. Car car oranges are sweeter oranges with a kind of a pink inside, and I love them, they're so good. But again, navel oranges will work. Use whatever oranges you have on hand, okay? <laughs> Let's go ahead and make just a little bit of a like a seasoning type situation for the salmon, you know, and we're gonna go Mediterranean style, of course, no surprise here. A good bit of oregano, about a teaspoon of dry oregano. This here, you guys, is crushed dried mint leaves, about a teaspoon of this one, and a little bit of Aleppo style pepper. You don't have Aleppo, which I recommend you should have Aleppo, but you could also use red pepper flakes if you have those. Uh, Aleppo pepper is not as spicy, but it does have a little bit of a kick, and it has a sweeter, uh, almost like sun-dried tomato. So it's really, really good with fish. You can find Aleppo pepper on the MediterraneanDish.com. Just hit the shop tab when you get there. So I've got one teaspoon each, oregano, um, mint, and Aleppo-style pepper. I'm gonna mix this party together to make a little bit of a seasoning mix. We're gonna do a little bit of parsley. I, I'm gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna say maybe it's a quarter cup. Next, we're gonna do dill. I love dill with fish, you guys, and I think it's kind of like the, under, the underdog of herbs for some reason, if there's such a thing. Like, I don't think it's used enough. How do you explain that? But over there, where I grew up on the Mediterranean, we did a lot with dill and it's amazing with fish and seafood. We're gonna do maybe an equal amount next to the parsley. Couple garlic cloves, joining the flavor maker party for this salmon, so good. Salmon can handle flavor, you wanna know why? Because salmon's got enough fat on it, it's a good fish. So this is basically all the prep that you need to do. You've got yourself a good seasoning right here, you've got the salmon, you've got the herbs, you've got the garlic. You are in business, so let's put this together. Grab yourself a baking pan, add a little bit of good extra virgin olive oil, brush, 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 and you do need a little, a little good bit of extra virgin olive oil because this helps the salmon. We're gonna slow roast the salmon at 300 degrees, and by slow roast, I don't mean all day. I just mean 25 minutes to 35 minutes, anywhere around that, you know, in that range, okay? So, we're gonna season our salmon. Good bit of kosher salt, black pepper, and not all salt is created equal. Mine is less salty. This is the seasoning we made earlier with the oregano and mint and Aleppo pepper. So we seasoned one side, then, you're gonna transfer the salmon over. Oh, here we go. Check that out. You know, sometimes they don't know that I wash my hands a million times during a video day. 
So we've got our salmon seasoned on one side. We're gonna do the same on the other side. A little bit of pepper and the rest of the oregano mint, red pepper flakes or Aleppo, whatever you ended up using. Don't be shy with the salmon. Give it a nice little rub. Wash your hands again. Now we're gonna go in with some minced garlic that we did earlier. Kind of spread it out on the salmon, okay? First little bit of citrus is gonna go on top. Cup your hands, squeeze some lemon juice. You're gonna need a good bit of extra virgin olive oil. Let's say like two to three spoons here. Tablespoons, that is. We're gonna slow roast the salmon at like 300 degrees. And slow roasting an already nice and juicy piece of salmon in some olive oil ensures that it's, it's gonna be just succulent and tender. It's gonna be an amazing salmon. Now we're gonna add some of the citrus slices on top we need to make like a little bit on the bottom too. So we're gonna insert some of our citrus slices, top and bottom, no big deal. Some of it is for flavor, some of it is for looks. Got our salmon fully seasoned, fully citrusy, and then we're gonna add just a little bit more olive oil, no big deal. This is about to go in the oven, and like I said, depending on how thick your salmon is, this could take 25 to 35 minutes. Check it out because you do not want to overcook your salmon. You want some nice and juicy salmon. So let's put this in the oven. All right, beautiful slow roasted salmon, extra juicy. I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute, but we are not done. We've gotta put our Parsley and beautiful dill. These guys are not just for garnish, they are going to add some amazing flavor. Now, if your salmon looks like it needs a little bit more time in the oven, that's great, but remember that it continues to cook when you take it out of the oven. So in order to make sure it doesn't dry out, take it out, cover it with some foil and just let it sit. It will finish cooking, but don't over dry your salmon. So let's dig in. There we go, nice and juicy, beautiful salmon right here. I love to serve a salmon like this with just a simple um, side of couscous, so be sure to check out how to make couscous over on the mediterraneandish.com. Oh yes, flaky, tender. This is perfectly cooked salmon. Mm. Actually it is. <laughs> It's actually freaking good. Okay, I surprise myself over and over every time. Grab the recipe for citrus salmon over on the mediterraneandish.com. I will see you later, ciao.